I'm going to digitize a very simple logo that I just found on the internet just to show you how powerful the Embryolian software is. So in this video I want to show you how do I digitize using the column stitch. That is one of the most frequently used it when you digitize probably it's going to be the tool that you're going to use the most. So I want to show you how easy to work with Embryolian's. Uh, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna click here new so automatically will give me a, my hoop that it's already selected in my preference box and then I'm going to click create which by cr uh, clicking this button actually will activate all all the stitch artist tools so there you go you can see all these tools are this is stitch artist 3 and uh, here's my button to bring the image so I'll press that. This is the image I'm going to digitize. OK. It's not showing right here because this button is not activated. So I'm going to activate that. You can see that our my image is right there inside at the center of the hoop. I will press the selector button. I'm going to select the image and then I'm going to resize a little bit. So I want to do it a little bigger. I always recommend to digitize uh, the correct size that you want to stitch uh, the logos you're digitizing. That's the best way to go. Okay, so I will create my stitch button again or stitch artist again. So I'm going to use this uh, tool right here. I, it's the left and right tool. I call it the ladder because it's, it's like a ladder. Every time you use this, basically you are uh, telling the software what type of orientation you want in the stitching so it's pretty cool uh, I'm gonna click this I'm gonna be in curve so I'm gonna start here this is basically I'm um, I'm clicking the left uh, button of the mouse And those lines that you see as a ladder basically are the inclination lines, the way they stitch the orientation. This is the way that the stitching is going to look, the orientation of the stitching is going to look actually. So I want to click uh, straight. So uh, I want to click the control button to make it straight. You see it change from circle to square one straight and then I release that and I'm going to continue on curve oops backspace you can always correct any mistake auto scroll this is a good uh, tool when you're digitizing so you've got auto scroll there you go right click and there we go this is our all inclination lines and I'm going to take off the 3D so this uh, green bow tie basically is your uh, starting point so that's where the embroidery is going to start and when we have here the red uh, bow tie so I'm going to move this because I want this embroidery to finish right here right there And then, uh, in order to create this other segment, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another tool just to show you that you can uh, create column stitch with different tools. This one I use the ladder or the left and right uh, tool. Now I'm going to pick uh, by points. So I'm going to click this one. Right now, my cursor has a circle, so it means that I'm in curve. So I'm going to click here. And every click, it will do automatically curve. So curve, 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 curve.
curve and then here I'm going to press the control button to do a straight line straight and straight and then I will continue with my curve so I release my control button curve right here I'm going to press this uh, button right here it's close shape there's a sh our shape and then I'm going to add inclination lines so I will press this button right here and then I will do inclination lines oops there we go Once I'm done, I'm going to press column stitch. There we go. And then I can edit this inclination. There we go. There we go. So my, my um, ending point will be right there. Oops and then I can bring a shape from this gear right here and I'm sure we have a circular shape there we go okay I'll grab this I will do it a little smaller there we go stitch I will copy, paste. There's my other one. So it changed my color. So I'll go to here to my my uh, section that I'm going to select. Color. I will pick. Oops. color palettes okay there you go easy now you can see this red uh, lines right here it's telling you you have big uh, jump stitch you can always select your logo go to stitch artist and then create auto entry exit boom that will fix it for you automatically and there you go Here's our image, it's already digitized it. Now I'm a big fan of every time I do column stitch, I always add a little bit of pull compensation. So you see there's no properties right here, just click the, the stitch artist button and then go here. This is pull compensation and I always use two or three points. Let's do three, enter, you see it's a little the stitches expand a little bit making it seem like a little bit or a bold like bold and that's it so this logo is ready to stitch out